We will take a look in this video how we can upgrade an existing Krita AI version and see how we can use the new hot model Flux. I have been using Krita AI for a while and I think it's time to update it. I believe it does not have an auto update feature, so we have to do this manually. The latest version also has support for the new Flux model. Let's check the website and see how we can upgrade our installation. When we scroll down, we have a link to the upgrade instructions. According to the documentation, to upgrade it, we can just use the installation's instructions and restart. There is, however, a warning. That is, if you are using version 1.15 or older, you need to make sure you copy your server settings. So let's go back to Krita and check our version. We can do this by opening up the settings of the Krita AI. At the bottom of the window, you can see your version. I'm in luck, as I have version 1.17, so I can just do a reinstall to upgrade. If you have an older version, you need to copy your server settings, and there is some explanation in the documentation how to do that. Now let's go back to the home page and find the download. By the way, the installation of it is done by using the Import Python module menu from Krita. When we scroll up, we can see the releases link, and once we click on it, the releases page will open and we press the download link at the top. Once the download is ready, go back to Krita and use the tools, script, import Python module menu and select the file you just downloaded. You will get a message whether you want to override it. Yes, we do. And then press yes again to enable the plugin and restart Krita. Once we open a document, I can immediately see that there is a message in the Krita AI panel stating the server is out of date. Let's open up the configuration and see how we can fix this. The configuration window shows the message that the server is missing components. It might be a bit unclear what to do right now, but what you have to do is just press the install button located at the right. It might be just like in my case, a console window opens and closes very quickly and the configuration window is closed, which gave me the idea that something went wrong. So I tried to open the configuration again, but nothing was happening. But what I realized after trying to restart Krita by closing it, is that the configuration window had been moved to the back and was still running as you can see. Anyway, it downloads the required components and then starts the server. In my case, it closes itself as I had closed Krita already. Let's start Krita again and check the plugin settings again. It looks like all is working as it should and there are some new features like multi-language support, tag completion and much more, which is all nicely documented in the changelog in the releases page. What I'm most interested about is the Flux model support. It is still experimental, so probably not everything will work smoothly but I still want to try it out. In order to use it, we need to manually download one of the Flux models. The Schnell model is the best to test as this is a bit less resource heavy. So let's go and download this. It is quite big and depending on your connection, this might take a while. Time to get some coffee. The coffee was delicious and by the way, I want to thank everyone who bought me a coffee in the past period. Really appreciate it. The download should also be done now. To use the Flux model, we need to open up the plugin configuration and set the style to Flux Schnell. And as you can see, you will get this message that the checkpoint or the model is not installed. To do that, press the folder icon, which opens up the folder with the models, and then move the downloaded Flux model to this folder. In the configuration screen, press the refresh button and the model will now be recognized. You will still get a warning message, and I think this is because the support is still in an experimental phase. Let's close and reopen the settings. When we select the flux tile, the message is still there. Let's completely restart Krita, and hopefully this will resolve the issue. Now that we have restarted Krita with a new document, let's check the configuration, and as you can see, there is no longer an error message. The flux model is a quite heavy model, if you don't have 24 gigs of VRAM, here is a quick tip that might speed up the generation time. Open up your NVIDIA configuration panel and from the 3D settings set the CUDA sysmem fallback policy 
to prefer no sysmem fallback. In my case, this did help speed up the generation using the flux model. It took a little bit of time, but we are now ready to use the flux model. Make sure you set the style to flux and then enter a prompt. I'm not very creative with prompts, but this looks pretty cool. Here are a couple of other variations. Because the flux model is still in an experimental phase, the fill or the refine does not work well with flux. For example, when I want to remove this person using flux, it generates gibberish. So for the fill and the other features, you should use the ST1.5 or the Excel model styles. By using the cinematic photo style, it removes the person quite nicely. Hope you found this video useful and helped you out while upgrading Krita AI. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.